What's up guys, it's your boy KillaJ here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another Sefak 3 tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do screen replacement in Sefak 3. Now ever since my 5k montage, you guys have been begging me and begging me to make this tutorial, so here it is. So before we hop into the tutorial, I do want to say go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, link will be up in the description below. Very very soon, I would start making videos with viewers, trust me, I will. I don't know exactly when, but if you do want to know when, go follow me on there. And also, if this video helps you in any way, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. Let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is pull up your computer. Now, you do need a flash drive and a laptop or a computer of any sort for this. You need to go on the computer so you can get a green image that I have. But I already did the work for you guys and went ahead and put it in a folder and the link is up in the description. So right when you get on your computer, go to any web browser like Firefox or Google and just type that in, in the top. And yeah, the photos will pop up with a green image. I'm going to meet you there. Okay, so when you get on your computer and you click on my link, you still be right here. What you guys need to do after this is go straight toward the green image. Right click it. And as you guys can see right here, it will say download. Go ahead and press download. Then, as you guys can see, it downloads in the bottom left corner, or whichever web browser it is, it's going to look different. And yeah, it's downloaded. So, go ahead and plug your flash drive in and click on File Explorer down here. And if you're new to this, you will not know this already, but if you go down to my flash drive, you will need a photo called Share Factory, exactly how it's spelled right here. The Share is all capital, and then the Factory is all lowercase. Then, inside the Share Factory folder, you will see these three folders, videos, music, and images. For this we only need images but it's good to have all three and yeah just in case you guys are new to this that's what you need so go ahead and scroll back up and then go to downloads and as you guys can see right here this is the exact image that i downloaded so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna left click on it and hold it then i'm gonna drag it all the way down until this start moving down and then go to Sair factory put it up in there then i'm gonna double click on the Sair factory folder it's right here so i'm gonna go ahead and hold it one more time then i'm just drag it into images and yeah the computer part is done sorry if the computer part is like a weird tent or whatever my elgato freaks out when i'm on my computer <laughs> but yeah anyways we are like officially done with the computer part which is basically the hard part now all we got to do is hop in safe factory and actually do screen replacement so yeah i'm gonna meet you there okay so now that we're on safe factory go ahead and put your flash drive inside your ps4 once you do that, go ahead and go to import content and go to import images. Then go to the left right here and click on import from USB. Then as you guys can see right here, this is the green image. So go ahead and click on that and then press square to import selected. And yeah, as you guys can see, this green image is now added onto our set factory. Now all you guys got to do is just make a video and put that anywhere and it's going to do it. Now this next part might be confusing, but this is how I do my green screen. So you guys could do it like this if you want to. I feel like this is the best way to. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to new project and start up a new video. And if you guys think this looks familiar, this is the original recording of what I did in creative for my 5k montage. So basically I just looked up a tutorial on how to make a gaming PC in Fortnite. And I basically just built that and this is what I came up with. Nothing too special, but I have the screen directly in the middle just like that. That's going to help me out a lot when it comes to this. And since we imported the green image as a set factory image, it's going to appear in our stickers. Now that's going to be really useful. So go ahead and press X, go to add overlay, and then go down to import the images. And as you guys can see, there's our green image. Now if you click on that, and then we just put a random variation in and we transform it and we shrink it. Now we could be able to put a green image right on our TV. But like I said earlier, the TV needs to be straight. And yeah, I think this is good. Press X and press O. And yeah, as you guys can see right here, that is basically a green screen. If you're finna do the green image, go ahead and put the clip on what variation you wanted that. It will help you out a ton and your set factory montage will take a really, really, really less time making. And also while you're doing this, go ahead and go to sticker variation and then bring this all the way up like that. And yeah, your green screen is basically finished. So I know what you guys might be thinking right now. Well, how do I actually put it in the green screen spot? I guess I, I don't know how to say it, but this is how. 
So basically the reason why I did it like this is so I can export this. So go ahead and go to options and then just go to export the gallery. And then once you do that, go ahead and add the clip that you want to be playing through the TV. Of course, this is just a tutorial, so I'm just going to pick a random clip. And I'm not trying to do nothing too extra, so I'm just have a little clip where I'm just free building. And now you can go ahead and delete this clip because we're not going to need it in that spot. So what we're going to do now is press X, go to add track 2, press X again, and go to add clip. Now go all the way down to the part where you see the green screen at, which is basically right here. And as you guys can see right here, you guys have officially made your own green screen in Safe Factory. Now all you guys gotta do is press square, go to prep layout, and go to full screen. Then press triangle, press X, and then press green screen. And as you guys can see right there, that worked exactly perfectly. Exactly perfectly. <laughs> but anyway, if we click off just like that, as you guys can see, I am literally free building in the TV. So now you guys might be asking, what do I do after that to get that clean transition that I did in my montage? So basically it's weird because I'm a two layer person and if you guys do not know what that means, that means I edit my videos with two projects. One for the camera effects and one for the actual video. So usually what I do right now is I'll finish the full montage and then I'll go to options and then export the gallery. Then I'll save project and exit, create a whole new project just like this, clip on a part I just exported or basically the montage, go exactly where it splits, so let's left on the d-pad until it splits. Okay, it splits right here, go a little bit to the side, press X, go to add overlay, and then go to focus, and as you guys can see right here, it focuses and then it comes back out. Now first of all, you do not need your camera settings to be that high, 0.20 is a really good spot to put it at. Then you want your camera duration to be the lowest possible. And as you guys can see right here, it zooms in and then zooms out. Now we just need to sync it to the focus and in and focus in that part. Because as you guys can see right here, I'm still focusing in a little bit. And then I zoom out right last second. So we need to put the camera effects basically at the end where it actually splits. So it zooms out right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move it. And it's weird because you can't move camera effects the same way you can do videos. You have to actually pull on it just like this is weird but at the end it's worth it so we're gonna go ahead and pull a little bit and that's a little bit too far so we're gonna go to the right and yeah as you guys can see right here that's literally perfect so just to rewatch it one more time it plays just like this and then in a few seconds it's going to zoom in and then go to the actual clip and yeah you guys have officially done screen replacement in set factory I wanted to make this the most broken down tutorial I've ever made just because I know you guys are going to love this video. But if this video helps you guys in any way, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe with post notifications on if you guys are new. And also go follow my Twitter and Instagram. Link is in the description below. You guys do not want to miss some of the video ideas I have in mind. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I will be making videos soon with you guys. And yeah, that's really it. That's all I had to say. I really do hope this tutorial helped you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or video. Have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.